Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat little uh, program planned for you, and I think you guys are going to find it kind of fun. What we're going to be talking about today are groupings. What do I mean by groupings? Well, let's start very, very simply. In the beginning, there was the bud vase, the bud vase. The bud vase design is a simple little container. The idea is that it's something that could be used on a workstation, possibly in a kitchenette or dinette. Something that is very simple that can hold a flower or two, possibly a flower, and some foliage. Of course, there are different kinds of bud vases out there. We can go with the traditional, the classical, or we can go with the contemporary. And nowadays, we have some really, really cool uh, uh, availability of all kinds of things. We have things that weren't even intended as bud vases that we can use as bud vases. We can take uh, one container and place uh, another container into it, like this tube inside of another container, use it as a bud vase. All kinds of things that we can do with it. Well, if one little container can have so much impact and we can do so many cool things design-wise with one little idea, well, what about two? And this is where we get into the concept of what we call groupings. Because we could take a very, very simple little container and design on it. But here, my viewer, you can see it's interesting. It's pretty. It's a small little container. We've got a little sunflower in it. We've got a couple of sunflowers that we pluck the petals from. We also have a little bit of kiwi vine and a little bit of our uh, river cane in here. That's cute. It's pretty. We could consider it a small arrangement, or we could sit and consider it almost like a little bud vase. But grouping means let's take several and put them together. This is what we mean by grouping. So it's interesting. Instead of using one container, we have two. And they're not big containers. And yet, notice that by having two of them side by side, the complexity is greater. The visual enjoyment becomes even more interesting. And these things can be a little bit more on the funky side. In other words, they don't have to be traditional. They can go in all kinds of directions. The beauty of it, however, is that they're small. They fit into small areas like workstations or kitchenettes or little sideboards, places where you want to put a few flowers, nothing immense or large, and yet get a really, really interesting visual statement with floral product. Now, if we can take more than one container and put them together, then the next question comes, well, are there any products and things available out there where it's all kind of included in one? And we're starting to see some really, really cool things emerging on the market little containers that basically could be used to come up with the same effect, in other words, that we're talking about. But instead of having to take two or more containers to do it, here you've got one base where we can take something and then we can just play with it. In other words, you can take a few flowers. And these are the kinds of things that you can pick up at your, at your local supermarket or your local flower shop and just take a few odds and ends and just drop them or possibly something from your garden and then just place them into these things and come up with an interesting effect. And the neat thing about it is, whoops, they do move around sometimes. The neat thing about it is, is that they're quick and easy to do and you can use all kinds of combinations that you can find. So here you can see a very, very simple little container that has about little four different little compartments. We've got a couple of zinnias, we have a rose, we have a couple of little sunflowers that we pulled the petals from, uh, a little piece of green hydrangea, and we've come up with a very, very cute little idea. This is quick, easy, and fun. We can really come up with some cool effects using what we call groupings. Groupings. So let's see what other ideas we have. If we can get containers that allow us to do groupings. Let's see some of the other things that are a possibility on this. Here, this is kind of cool. This is a, this is what I call uh, our bud vase taking vitamins. We don't have just one bud vase here. You got a whole slew of them. We have actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
little bud vases, but they're actually attached to the tray. In other words, it's a single container, but it has two, four, five, six, seven containers in one. And then we can drop things in at will. In this particular case, we got really funky. You'll notice we have some tropical flowers in here. We've got a few roses in here, some mini callas worked in, some leucodendron worked in, and a little bit of our kiwi vine to kind of give a, a very, very kinky effect. Again, these things don't take a lot of material. They're very, very simple in terms of the amounts of material. And you'll notice that they're not traditional. They're not dad's bud vase or granddad's bud vase. They are bud vases with vitamins for the 21st century. They are a little bit more kinky. They are a little bit more interesting visually. And you can use any combination of materials to come up with these things. Now, this is a more traditional kind of container one. Let's go to another extreme and see something that even feels in terms of the base itself. This almost feels like tubes that were glued to each other. They're almost like individual glasses and they're all kind of tied together. They're all one unit and again, this feels a little bit more contemporary in terms of the container than this one but still a very, very interesting kind of thing. Notice that in this particular case we have some of our zinnia, we have uh, some of our sunflowers worked in, some of our leucodendron placed here, a little bit of kiwi vine intertwined into it. Again, these are the kinds of things that you can take a small uh, bouquet of flowers that you can buy from your local florist, a uh, mixed bouquet, <coughs> and then take them, drop them into some of these containers, and depending upon the season, the time of the year, the materials you have available, you can really come up with some very, very interesting results. And they're easy to design. All you have to do is have the container, put water in it, and then just drop flowers into the individual component sections. The concept, grouping, grouping floral art. I think it's very, very exciting. <laughs> Let me show you one more, my viewer, that I think you're going to find kind of interesting. Uh, we can make these into very, very complex designs. Just because we have uh, a few containers doesn't mean to say that it has to be very, very simple and very, very uh, easy. We can make them more complex as well. And I think that this is a good example of it. Here is a very, very simple container. They are three plastic containers that are on a tray. They're built onto a tray. And you'll notice that in this particular case, we have something done in a hedge fashion. A hedge basically is something that is almost square, rectangular, and there's lots of density within it. In other words, it's not separate as in a parallel kind of structure. And again, in this particular one, we have all kinds of things. We have leucodendron in here. We have roses worked into this design. We have carnations. Don't let anybody tell you carnations can't be used in interesting ways. They are. We have some hypericum berries here. We have some of our zinnias here and here. Some of our sunflowers worked in, both our live sunflowers and our sunflowers that are a little bit uh, on the way out where we pluck the petals and just using them for visual contrast and effect. And then some fantail willow here and there into the design. So you can see that we can go from very, very simple to far more complex on this kind of style of design. Oh, and incidentally, any one of these three sections, this particular base is set up so that the three sections come out. And each one can essentially stand on its own or it can all be linked together. If I can get these back into the pegs properly, they can all be linked together to come up with an interesting effect. So my viewer, what do you think? Grouping technique, it's a little bit different something you may never have considered. In the future, think of our bud vase. You can do some cool things with it, but also think of groupings. And when you're out looking for containers and bases and things to play with in your collection, consider, if you will, some of these items that are out there where we have not one container to, to do, but groupings of containers that are all tied together. And if you can't find these, think of what we showed you earlier with the kiwi vine and the two little containers where we can take two similar containers and place them together as a grouping. At Rittner Floral School, we believe that floral designing should be quick, easy, and fun, should enhance your life. And it was a pleasure presenting this brief uh, demonstration to you today. 
On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. Thank you for coming in and visiting our classroom today.